my name's Jenny and I'm going to talk to you a bit about um, migration. So we're all probably um, familiar with migration um, of birds to the UK. For example, um, some of our summer visitors such as swallows, swifts and martins, which we talked about in one of our earlier uh, Wild at Home videos. And um, you're probably familiar with um, some of the winter migration to the UK such as um, ducks coming south um, from Scandinavia and um, also the arrival of our winter thrushes again um, moving south um, through Europe um, to enjoy our warmer climate. For this talk I'm going to talk a bit about butterfly and moth migration. We have several species in the UK of butterfly um, and, and moths, um, fair few of, of the moths that migrate um, to the UK. A few species to look out for, um, so we have um, Red Admiral, um, Painted Lady and also Clouded Yellow. So both the Painted Lady and the Clouded Yellow, there tend to be mass events when um, these butterflies um, arrive on our shores, so you might have been lucky enough to have witnessed um, one of those years. So as you can imagine, um, butterfly migration is really, really exciting to witness. Um, I remember um, a couple of years ago I was sailing on the Suffolk coast and um, saw a small group of Red Admiral butterflies um, flying out to sea and they were flying um, just a few centimetres above um, above the crests of the waves and um, yeah just amazing to see these um, small insects um, flying with intent out to sea. So uh, the Painted Lady um, has um, an amazing migration. Um, the Painted Lady flies um, 9,000 miles from Africa all the way to the Arctic Circle and they've been recorded at um, flying at speeds of 30 miles an hour and also um, up to 500 meters in height. The clouded yellow, um, as the name suggests, is quite a light, bright yellow butterfly and a good one um, to look out for. And um, a good place to look out for clouded yellows is on um, pea crops and also um, our native bird's foot trefoil. So moving on to moths, um, some of the moth migratory moth species um, that we have in the UK. Um, so one is um, the silver Y. This is quite a dark grey um, small moth and um, you're most likely to see it if you're walking through long grass and you disturb it from the vegetation. It's got a beautiful um, metallic marking of um, the letter Y, hence why it gets its name silver Y. Then we also have the hummingbird hawk moth and if you're lucky enough to have seen one of these um, it will have probably been very memorable and um, they look um, quite like a small hummingbird um, and um, we get them in the UK um, from April all the way through to, to December and this year when we had um, quite a warm hot spring we were getting quite a lot of early records and then a, another um, colourful day flying moth to look out for is the Jersey Tiger. Some of you may remember that we had a real influx year of these last year. Um, myself and a colleague were out at Kingsmeads and um, I remember just within a small area we saw about six of these um, beautiful brightly coloured butterflies. We focused on um, uh, butterfly and moth migration this afternoon but obviously um, with um, warmer temperatures and warming climate um, a lot of um, our, a lot of insects are actually moving their range um, more northerly um, up towards the UK so um, yeah I recommend you to go out looking for some of these species seeing if you can spot them um, in the rest of the summer um, a good place to look out for them is in your garden or local green space and I've just got um, Budlia in my garden, um, the butterfly bush coming into flower, so that's a good place to start. Um, and please do share your photos with us. Thank you.